Yeah, unfortunately, LA didn't go to plan. Um, came away with some injuries, scary times. Um, <sighs> yeah, it was a lot. I haven't really thought about it lately. Um, just been recovering. Um, I had to wait um, a week for surgery, a little over a week for surgery, just because I had some air in my chest. Um, so that was a bummer. I was sitting, sitting with a, a beat up collarbone and some bruised uh, lungs and broken ribs and all that fun stuff. But all in all, um, I'm healing up well and feeling pretty good. Can't complain. It's been nearly a month now, so we're getting, getting close to being back on the bike, which is nice. Yeah, have a full full year under the new um, gas gas um, frame, which is great. Um, feeling really good on it. Um, obviously in Supercross, it took a little while to get comfortable. Then once I got comfortable, it was clicking off podiums, got a win, and then unfortunately, you know, things happened. Um, some injuries came along, but other than that, felt great on the bike. Um, we learned an absolutely ton. Um, obviously, it was more of just um, suspension, getting it comfortable, getting it dialed to that frame. Um, going into next year, we have a little bit different suspension setup and things like that, so not too many changes. Um, but I think it'll be pretty easy to adapt to the bike and find the base setting and be ready to race. I think we all start racing for that competitiveness, um, that feeling when you line up, those nerves, those butterflies. I still get that to this day, being over 30 years old now. Um, I still feel it. Time's flown by, honestly, racing. It's crazy. But all in all, I have great experience now. I've been doing it a long time. Um, I still have that speed. I still have that bam bam aggression. Um, you know, I have a kid now, which is cool. I have the, the motivation, not that I needed any more motivation, but uh, it's just great to go on the line and kind of have my life sorted out. I have a great team behind me. I know my bike's really good. So really all I have to do is make sure I have a great base, base setting going into the races. Um, and obviously competition is going to be strong. It always is strong, but the goal is obviously to be on the podium quickly, um, not take so long to get on the podium, quickly in the beginning of the season, and then have some race wins and be fighting for the championship at the end of the year. That's all I think we all can ask for on the team. Yeah, next two months for me will obviously be recovering from my injury. Still have a little bit of the time to go, um, which, like you said, we talked about the experience. I think it's good. I'm having some off time right now. I'll be able to come out and know what I need to do for trading. I don't need a ton of time to get ready. Obviously, I have plenty of time to get ready, but so not worried about that. Just recovering, making sure I'm healthy, and then hitting the test track, getting my base setting ready, uh, making sure my fitness is good. Um, starts are key, obviously. So all in all, I have a great group around me. I can't wait to wait to look wait to look i can't wait to get with the team start testing start riding hanging out with sorby the whole crew have my kid my wife at the track it's just uh family time with the whole team um getting that base setting having fun and show up to anaheim ready to go yeah i think anaheim one has always been really good to me um I didn't win it recently, which is okay, because I, I kind of wanted to get the weight off my shoulders, I think, a little bit. There's a lot of pressure. Obviously, preseason, you get the speed going, and you come out swinging. I think I'm really good at going racing. That's what I do is I race. So I think me as a racer, um, I'm just ready to go from that first race. So I feel like, obviously, you know, if I have the speed, and obviously I know I have the fitness, we go out there and we throw down and we win races. So, um, yeah, Anaheim is a very special place to me, a really good vibe there. I love the stadium, um, a lot of good memories. So, yeah, this year I obviously want to go out there, throw down. If I can get a win, great. Um, if not, be consistent, get some good points, and get the win later on. Three, two, one, go. Oh, all right. Ryder D is looking. Well, the new kid's up. probably pretty hungry, so it's hard to go against the new kid. But he has got the experience. I don't know if any experience is going to help here, though. So we'll see. His neck and neck. Righto, Matson, get in there, mate. Matson with the big long push. That was the oh, right. The commentator goes. Go, go, go! This is coming down to the wall. But even with the mistake. Team Rider D, collect Yeah, up and down year for sure, this past season. Um, I uh, definitely, I'm definitely not too happy with it. I uh, felt like I left a lot um, out there on, uh, I wouldn't say on the track, but uh, I was just, I was just sidelined too much. I uh, dealt with too many injuries. It was just uh, snowballing like one after the other. Um, I had a crash at A1 and then got over that and then I, uh, for my meniscus, my knee, and then um, I uh, I spent the rest of the season nursing that, and then um, broke my hand, got those both fixed, and then throughout the whole outdoor season, I was I was uh, struggling with the hand. But um, I mean, no excuses. I just wasn't where I needed to be. Um, but we, uh, even though we did have a tough year, I'm 
I'm really confident for this next season. We uh, we have a good base, and uh, we worked out a lot of kinks with the bike and the the motor, the chassis, everything like that. So everything's looking really good for this 24 season, and uh, I'm healthy and I'm uh, I'm excited. Everything's kind of been um, a little hectic the last week for me because I took a good three weeks off after LA, the last SMX round, and um, that leaves me with 10 weeks on the bike until A1, which um, after a few years of base is plenty of time, but um, it's still uh, it's still a short enough period to kind of kind of keep you like on your toes, you know, like you're. Um, at least I thought um, I thought I was getting on the bike a little late, but everybody was everybody is in the same boat as I am. Um, everybody's getting back to it later than normal, but that's just because we had like an extended year this past season, and. Uh, I mean, it's a long year. It's uh, it's a lot on your body, and you need that time off just to let your body rest. And I mean, um, like what I did, I uh, I had to I had to heal up from everything. So um, I could finally say that I'm 100 percent now, and um, I'm excited for uh, for this off season through the through the boot camp and then to A1. I could finally say I'm fine with doing either or because last season was my first year doing West, and um, I. Uh, I was a little nervous for Wes just for the just for the sake of not having ridden like any of the tracks or any uh, or being it to any of the stadiums. I did East Coast my first two seasons, so um, West Coast was fun. Um, I mean, I train out here in California, so I'm used to I'm used to the drier dirt and um, the more um, hard pack like whoop sections, corners, everything like that. So. Um, I, I'm pushing for West, that's what I'm prepping for. I don't want to prep for East Coast and then do West, so I'll be ready by the time West Coast comes around and then the team will, they'll make the call when the time comes. But uh, I'm just uh, I'm just ready for whatever. I got on it and was instantly, instantly like stoked on it this past off season. Um, but once we went racing, that's when a few things or a few complaints came up. So that's uh, that's what we kind of had to work through. I thought we were in a lot better spot than we were, and um, yeah, that was a tough pill to swallow too. We uh, we were a little bit behind the eight ball um, for what we needed to be. So, um, but to have a full a full season on it, um, a full season of improving the platform and um, improving the base. I'm, I'm excited for this next season because right away I got, I've been on the bike for three days so far and uh, already I feel, I feel great. The bike's just as good as it was when we left off. So we learned a lot with the bike, the chassis, suspension, everything this past season. Um, obviously you have to go through that with a new platform, but um, the second year on it is always proven to be better, more successful, just for the sake of having the knowledge of what you can and can't do with it. So um, I think we have a really good uh, direction on um, where we need to be with it. So I'm excited. I think I already feel like family um, and it's only been a three or four weeks. So um, that's the biggest part. And you can you can have a lot of fun with this team. And when I'm having fun, I do really well on the track. So um, to have all that combined is is something that you need when you're having tough days at the track. Um, every single time I sit on the bike, like just before I could test A or something, it's, uh, it's something I take in and um, just enjoy, honestly. I didn't get over the green front fender, but having a red front fender in front of you is, uh, is something cool and um, it's been coming, been coming for a long time. Um, I, I noticed a big difference at first. It was just uh, more predictable. Um, I already have a lot more trust in it than I did previously on the, uh, on the other frames. So, um, I enjoy it and it takes me back more to my mini cycle days where I was super comfortable and um, yeah, I kind of got that feel, that feeling back to where I could, I could really put trust in the bike and have some fun. I think if I go west, like I, I've grown up watching the TLD boys um, win Anaheim one and Jesse Nelson, like those guys that I've grown up with in the past because Jesse's from close to my house. So um, just watching them growing up and win those when those opening rounds is uh, is a goal I have I've set.